Hey folks, welcome to Hometown Cable's presentation of CVAC Girls Varsity Basketball coming to you from Northeastern Clinton Central School Tuesday evening, uh, February 5th, 2013. The uh, Cougars in a uh, Division I matchup here hosting the uh, Eagles of Beacon Town Central School. Once again, the Tuesday evening, uh, September 5th, 2013. The uh, Beekman Town Eagles coming into the uh, Cougar Gymnasium with a uh, mark of 10 and 1. And the Cougars mark of um, 6 and 7, something of that nature. The uh, Lesser mark, so the uh, Eagles looking to uh, defend their number one spot here in Division One. There's a uh, shot by Shannon Ryan. Another one that won't fall. This one is rebounded. Ball's on the floor. Pops out. Roush gets it. Gives it out for uh, 
Hebert who puts it up court for Taylor Rabbit who left hand lays in and the uh, Cougars go up early on. So the uh, Cougars strike first blood here and there's a uh, attempt to turn over, attempt to steal by Rabideau, but the ball goes out of bounds and it will stay with the Eagles. So the Eagles a little discombobulated here to uh, get things started. This is Wilson, tries to pass it inside for uh, Ryan and she gets fouled on the, uh, on the entry pass. So that'll be the uh, That'll be the Eagles' offensive threat, is to uh, get it inside to the uh, league's leading scorer and uh, let her do her magic. This is Kelly, skips it over to uh, Wilson. Wilson with a shot, that one's short. Offensive rebound there by number 33 is uh, Alicia Barco. And now we got another foul. So two fouls on this same trip down by the uh, Cougars who can uh, Ill afford to get in any, any foul trouble, which happened to them the first time around. This is back out for uh, for Wilson. Wilson, all the way over for Kelly, goes over her head. Kelly loses the handle on it, but Wilson comes up with it, stolen inside, kept alive. Ryan with a short jumper, that won't fall. Rabideau with the uh, rebound. So the Eagles have come up empty on uh, a couple trips down here, and the Cougars with a chance to uh, see if they can't push the lead up. Here's Dominic with it. She gives it off for Cartier. Back out to the top for Hebert. Hebert, Cartier, drives the lane, puts up a little shot. A little bit too long. Long rebound out for uh, number four is uh, Michaela LaFountain. And we got a third foul on the uh, Cougars with uh, less than, well, just a little over two minutes gone in the contest. So Cougars showing some full court pressure here, trying to uh, create some turnovers. Ball's inside for the fountain. That was up for Kelly. Kelly tries to get it inside, and we got another foul underneath. That one's going to go on Rabideau, so... Uh, Four fouls already for the uh, Cougars early on here. But, and there's a nice steal by uh, Roush on the inbounds pass, but she can't uh, she can't corral it. So good hustle by uh, by Molly Roush to uh, do something with that inbound pass. I think the uh, Cougars' only hope here is to uh, disrupt this this outside perimeter play because once they get it inside to uh, Shannon Ryan, there's. Uh, Pretty much no stopping her from the uh, from the inside post. There's a shot by Rabideau that rolls around and drops in. So Taylor Rabideau with all the points so far for everybody as the Cougars take a four to nothing lead. And uh, Kelly's double team there and there's a turnover. Up for Dominic. Dominic's gonna take it in. Left handed layup. She banks it in and down. And we got a timeout on the floor so with Five minutes and 18 seconds to go here in the first period. The uh, Cougars jump out to a six to nothing lead. Alrighty, out of the timeout. Eagles with the ball, push it up court. This is Wilson with it. Over for uh, LaFountain, that shot's a little bit too long. Roush with the rebound, and the Cougars will push it up the court. Our referees uh, this evening are, um, oh, there's a uh, long shot by uh, Jordan Dominic that goes just a little bit long. The uh, rebound comes down, Ali Cartier and uh, Shannon Ryan get tied up with it. And the ball will come over to the uh, Cougars on the alternating possession. Uh, Marino and Partelli are the, uh, the referees for tonight's contest. Here's Roush. Looks to drive. Gives it for Rabideau. Rabideau back out for Dominic. Cougars on the weave here. Here's Hebert. She's going to put the shot up. That gets blocked by Kelly. And Beacon Town comes away with the, uh, with the loose ball. Kelly's double teamed out front. Tries to lob it over for uh, LaFountain. LaFountain puts the shot up. That hits front iron. 
Handled by uh, Hebert. Hebert takes it down the other end. She's fouled and knocks it in. So Skyler Hebert with her first points of the contest to, off the steal by uh, Molly Roush. And she takes it down the other end and uh, puts the layup in and it is fouled by uh, Michaela LaFountain. So Hebert will be at the line to see if she can't complete the three-point play and push that lead up to nine points with uh, four minutes, just over four minutes to play. A nice rebound by uh, Barcom. The fountain, or, uh, Ryan tries to dribble up, and she's fouled out just outside, just over mid stripe and uh, that's going to be five fouls on the uh, Cougars here in the early going of the game. That one's going to go on Jordan Dominic. Here's the fountain. She pops it inside for. Uh, and there's another foul. So that's going to be two on Cartier. So she's going to have to uh, she's going to have to mind her p's and q's because I'm not sure that uh, Coach Dumas has anybody else that can uh, post up against the uh, the uh, the length of Shannon Ryan. So just under four minutes to play here in the first period, and uh, Big Town will have the, uh, the Eagles will have the ball inbounds underneath their own basket. So that one's up from a. Uh, the fountain, that one goes awry, but uh, Barcombe comes up with it. That shot doesn't go anywhere. Here's a turnaround yeah, nice by Wilson, and uh, she puts the first two points on the board for the uh, Eagles. Here's a cross-court pass for Rabideau. Rabideau puts up a floater. That won't fall. Ryan with the rebound. Sends it up for uh, for uh, LaFountain, and LaFountain will settle things down. Kelly sends it over for Wilson. Wilson over for LaFountain. LaFountain squares up, puts that shot up. A little bit short. Nobody there for the rebound. That one's on the floor and it's tied up. And that should stay with the Eagles. Oh my God. So we got another foul on the play and that's going to put the uh, Eagles on the line to shoot one and one with three minutes to go here in the uh, in the first quarter. So uh, Fouls are coming pretty, uh, pretty fast and furious here with this uh, officiating crew. So Michaela LaFountain will be at the line. She uh, shoot one and one, knocks down the first one. Oh. Okay. They get it wrong in the program. I'm sorry. I can only. Oh, do we? Yeah. Sorry. I can, I can only go by what's written yeah, on the. Uh, I've heard it a couple times. I thought you might want to know. That's fine. I, like I said, I, I don't know these girls, so. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I only have to go with what's written in the uh, in the program. So can I assume then that number five is uh, they are flip flop maybe? Yes. Okay. Five is uh, Christine. Yeah. Yeah, that one around and rattles around the rim with Ryan with the rebound. So I've been uh, corrected on the uh, lineup that I was given. The uh, was a nice effort by uh, Kelly on the other end. And Dominic takes it to the rack. But the shot is blocked out of bounds by uh, by Dominic. So. Cougars will have the ball out of bounds underneath their own basket. So after the Cougars had uh, run up an eight point lead, the uh, Eagles have come back with five unanswered, so. Here's Roush with it. Rabideau takes it into the land of Giants, puts it up in the air. That one won't fall. Dominic comes down with the offensive rebound. Here's Paola, who had checked into the contest. Dominic puts up a shot. Drops it in. So four points for uh, Jordan Dominic. Here's a uh, shot by Wilson. That one won't fall. Ryan with the offensive rebound. That one won't go. 
And Rabideau grabs that rebound, pushes the court, pushes the ball up the court. Sides better of it. Here's Hebert with a long one. That was short. And Paola can't grab the rebound, so it'll go out of bounds. Cougars go to the bench, put in number 34. Um, Emily uh, Sample will check in, and Jordan Dominic will sit. Minute 54 to go here in the first period. Here's Kelly with it. Up for Wilson. Wilson stolen by, uh, by Roush. Roush lays one in. First two points of the contest for Molly Roush and the Cougars. Push the lead up to seven and that one's tipped out of, ground, out of bounds by uh, Roush. So. Minute and a half to go here in the first quarter. Eagles with the ball. Here's Kelly. She squares away. That one won't fall. Rabideau comes away with a long rebound. There's a little hard time corralling it, but does, and uh, finally settled it down. Here's Hebert. She'll give it out for Roush. Roush off the screen. Thinks better. Here's Rabideau. Puts up a shot. That's going to go off the front of the rim. Sample with a rebound, but dribbles it out of bounds. So a nice position by uh, Emily Sample to get her hands on that rebound, but uh, can't control the... Uh, the effort so so this is uh, Michaela LaFountain now in the contest I apologize for that we had some errors on the uh, on the uh, roster that I was given there's Hebert with a steal and she knocks that one in so Cougars with some uh, aggressive defense here in the first quarter have uh, pushed themselves up to a nine point lead here's Kelly and down another turnover Rabideau comes away with it She's going to take it to the rack all by herself. And a lot of contact there, but no uh, no foul. But the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Cougars. Under a minute to go here in an action-packed first quarter. And that one's all the way out for Rabideau. Rabideau's going to drive. She loses the handle on it. Kelly comes up with a steal. And Roush going to reach in and knock the ball away, but uh, she's going to get called for the foul. And that'll put Grace Kelly on the line to shoot one and one. So once again, Grace Kelly at the line to shoot one and one. And the first one's up and good. Her first uh, first point in the contest, and the second one on its way, and that was good. Here's Rabideau, goes in the lane, puts up a little floater, won't get the friendly rim. Here's uh, Sample with a nice offensive rebound, gives it back out for Rabideau. Rabideau decides to drive, she puts that shot up high off the glass, won't fall. Ryan with a rebound and gives it out for Kelly. Kelly, the uh, Eagles can hold for the last shot here in this quarter. Kelly decides to drive, lobs it in for uh, uh, Barcombe. Barcombe can't finish on the other end. We got a held ball and it's going to uh, stay with the Eagles. So the Eagles will have an inbound opportunity here with 14 seconds to go here in the uh, action packed first quarter. Here's Kelly with it. She gets a shot off. That one's off the back iron. Hebert with a rebound, and then we have a reach-in foul on uh, Alicia Barcom. But only the uh, second foul on the Eagles, so with nine seconds on the clock, Cougars with an opportunity here to see if they can't uh, extend that lead. Here's Rabideau with the Hebert. Hebert chucks up a big one and knocks it down. So. Skyler Hebert, his time is running out here in the first period, pushes the uh, Cougar League up to 10. So here at Northeastern Clinton, after eight minutes of play, the Cougars lead the Eagles of Beekman Town Central School by a score of 17 to seven. Okay, go. All right, folks. Here we go, start of the uh, second quarter action. Girls Varsity Basketball. Northeastern Clinton Central School. The Cougars with a 10-point uh, lead over the Eagles of Beekman Town. 
Here's Revenue, drives the lane. That one won't fall. Grace Kelly with the uh, rebound. I'm sorry, uh, number 15 is uh, Courtney Gwinnip has checked into the contest and that was her rebound. This is LaFountain inside for Ryan. Ryan squares up, finally knocks one down. So, not sure that uh, Shannon Ryan has been uh, scored held, held scoreless in any uh, eight minute seg segment of a game this year, but sure happened here and uh, Dominic turns the ball over. Here's Kelly. She comes down on a uh, one on four, puts the shot up off the front of the rim and Ryan grabs that offensive rebound and puts it back. So, quick as I mentioned that she hadn't scored in the first quarter, she puts the uh, first four points in the second quarter in to uh, cut the deficit down to six. Here's Cougars with the ball. Rabideau puts the shot up. And uh, that one comes down. It's rebounded by uh, Barcombe. And outlets it out. Here's Ryan with the ball. She's guarded at midcourt. Sends it in for Kelly. Kelly tries to push one inside. That one's uh, taken away by uh, Taylor Rabideau. Well, here come the Cougars. They want to run the floor. Rabideau pulls it out. Gives it out for uh, Roush. And here's Dominic inside for uh, Cartier. Cartier back outside for uh, Rabideau. Rabideau. And uh, she gets fouled on that play. So the foul is going to go on Shannon Ryan. And uh, that's going to put Rabideau at the line to shoot two. 6.15 to play here in the uh, first half. And uh, Taylor Rabideau at the line to shoot two. First one is up and a little bit short. Uh, number 10, Courtney Wilson checks back into the contest uh, as well as number one, uh, Tori Barrett. And Barcombe and uh, LaFountain will sit. Rabideau second shot on the way, a little bit too strong that time. Rebounded by Wilson. Pushes the ball up to the corner. Here's Kelly off the double screen. And that one's a little bit long. Offensive rebound there by Barrett. Blocked by uh, uh, by Dominic. She's double teamed there and creates a turnover. Here's Roush. She brings it down, squares up, puts the shot up. That's partially blocked. And uh, Ryan comes away with the, uh, with the ball. Gives it off for Kelly. Kelly squares up for three. That one's off the side iron. Comes down for Barrett. Barrett puts the shot up a little bit too long. Ball's on the floor. And comes out for uh, uh, Allie Cartier with a nice uh, defensive rebound there on the hustle play. So the Cougars come away with a stop here. Here's Rabideau. Roush looking to penetrate. Cougars. Here's uh, Jordan Dominic. Banks one home from uh, way downtown to uh, put the Cougars up by nine. 22-11 to score. Here's the drive. Reverse layup. That one won't fall. Dominic with the rebound. Wilson does a nice drive underneath. Puts a reverse layup up with a little bit too strong. Here come the Cougars back the other way. Roush drives the lane. Puts up a little runner, but that one went a little bit too strong. Got a little aggressive on the rebound, and uh, we'll pick up her second foul. So that's going to put uh, Shannon Ryan on the line to shoot one and one. That's three fouls on uh, Molly Roush here with uh, a little bit over uh, under five minutes to play here in the first quarter, or second quarter, pardon me. So Roush will go to the bench with the three fouls. Um, Emily Sample will check back in. Cougars have uh, done an excellent job on defense so far. Uh, Molly Roush being uh, part of that spark, uh, unfortunately picked up three fouls along the way. So it's a nice offensive rebound by Barrett. But she can't make the uh, put back. But Ryan gets the uh, additional offensive rebound and drops that one in. So six points for Shannon Ryan all here in the second half. She blocks that one out of bounds. So that'll stay with the, uh, that'll stay with the Cougars. 23 on the shot clock, plenty of time. Here's Rabideau, give it out for 
Back out. Here's Sample in the corner for Rabideau. Rabideau drives the lane, puts that runner up, a little bit too strong. Rebounded by Barrett. She outlets to Kelly and uh, come the Eagles. The Eagles will try to get something going. Here's Kelly off the screen. She loses her uh, loses her balance and goes to the floor. Should have been a travel call, I would think. The ball gets tied up and it's going to go over to the Cougars on the alternating possession. 4.15 to go here in the first half. Cougars with a seven point lead. Ravidu drives, puts the shot up, a little bit errant. Ryan comes down with a rebound. Here's Kelly, drives around her defender, squares up for the three, and that one's nothing but string. So Grace Kelly with uh, five points here on her first uh, three point of the afternoon with 3.41 to play here in the first half. The, uh, Eagles have uh, cut that deficit to four. The score is 20-16 in favor of the Cougars. <laughs> Already out of the timeout. Cougars with the ball. And a four-point lead. Here's Rabideau. She drives. That one won't fall. Ryan comes down with that rebound. And clears things out. Here's Kelly working against Sample. Sample off the screen. Kelly goes in the lane and uh, she's going to uh, she's going to draw the foul. Foul is going to go on uh, Emily Sample. It'll be her first, and that'll put Grace Kelly at the line to shoot one and one, uh, two probably. Now we're in a double bonus. So the first one's on its way, and that one's good. Six points for Kelly. Cuts the deficit to three. Second one is on its way, and that one's good. Here's Rabideau. She's going to square up. That one's short. Here's Dominic. That one looks like it's going to be a little bit long. Hits the top. Should have been considered out of bounds, but not. So Cougars with a couple of decent looks there, but uh, nothing, to, nothing to show for it. Here's Kelly. She beats the uh, defender. Puts a nice pass over for Barrett, and she's going to pick up the foul. So Cougars are going to get themselves in some foul trouble here in the first quarter, or first half, with, with uh, 10 team fouls already, and that's going to go against Dominic. That's going to be her second. And I'll put Tori Barrett at the line to shoot two with just under three minutes to play here in the first half. Eagles with a chance to uh, tie the contest here. First, first shot by uh, Barrett. It's a little bit strong. Jordan Dominic will go to the bench. Number 33, Christina Paola checks back into the contest. And the second attempt by uh, Barrett it's on its way. And that one's a little bit too long. Ryan with the offensive rebound, and she puts that one in. Eight points for uh, Ryan all here in the second quarter. Here's Paola, gets it out for uh, Sample. Sample puts it down. But, uh, Rabideau gets away with it. Here's Rabideau again. She thinks about driving, does, puts the shot up. That one's loose. And uh, saved by Paola, but right, right to Wilson, and Wilson has the ball, so the score all tied up here. The uh, Eagles with a chance to take their first lead of the contest on this possession. Here's Kelly off the screen, and she puts up a little runner with the right hand, and knocks it down. So Grace Kelly working off that high screen and uh, takes the ball to the rim. Here's Sample. She puts up a long shot and won't fall. Paola with the offensive rebound, and uh, she can't finish on that one, so Cougars come up empty. And here's a chance for the Eagles to extend that lead. There's a uh, pass underneath it. That, uh, 
Uh, McKinley was zigging and uh, Kelly was zagging, so there's a turnover. Abby Miller, number 24, has checked into the contest to give uh, Taylor Rabbit a break. So we got under two minutes to play here in the first half. Eagles up by two at this point. Here's Miller. Miller thinks about it, but gives it back for Sample. Sample switches hands, gets it inside for Cartier. Cartier's double team there, and she draws the foul. So, and it's going to be a common foul, so the uh, Cougars will inbound the ball. He's inbound, inside for uh, Paola, but that one gets blocked away. And Wilson comes up with the steal. So here are the Eagles. Here's, once again, off the screen. There's a nice drive again by Wilson, it won't fall. And we got another foul underneath. So. This time number 15, uh, Courtney Gwinnup gets an offensive rebound and she gets fouled on the way up. So she'll be at the line to shoot too. 105 to go here in the uh, first half. Been a uh, tale of two quarters so far with uh, the Cougars doing the uh, bulk of the scoring and uh, had a pretty decent lead at the uh, 10 point lead at the uh, the end of the first quarter, but uh, Eagles have come back strong and uh, tied it up, and now we'll go up by four. As uh, Courtney Gwinnip hits both of her free throws and put the Eagles up by four. There's a shot by Sample high off the glass. That won't fall. Miller with the offensive rebound. She drives. She'll put a shot up, and that one's in. So Abby Miller gets into scoring action for the Cougars. Been a uh, little dry spell for him, but off the... Uh, and that's going to be a turnover by the uh, Eagles, so Cougars with an opportunity here to uh, put some more points on the board before the, uh, before the end of the half. Here's Cartier. She's got the ball. Sends it back out for Miller. Hebert back for Miller. Miller's going to put the shot up. That was a little bit too, str too strong. Nice uh, offensive rebound there by Rachel Arliss. She snuck into the contest without me watching, but feeds Abby Miller, who uh, puts in another shot. Here's Kelly on the drive. She pulls up short. Shot's a little bit too short. Another rebound by Arliss, who's uh, done well off the bench here. In the, uh, and there's a shot by Skyler Hebert. So she knocks one down. So the Cougars with six unanswered here in the last 30 seconds to uh, go back up on top by two. There's a long pass up. And that'll end it for the uh, first half. So the uh, Eagles came out strong here in the second quarter and uh, tied the game and went up by four. And then the Cougars with a little run, a little 6-0 run to finish out the first half have uh, put themselves up by a two-point margin. So at the half here at Northeastern Clinton Central School, it's the Cougars 26, the Eagles 24. Okay, folks, we're back at it for second half of action here. Northeastern Clinton Central School. The uh, Cougars hosting the Eagles of Big Town Central School. Cougars bringing a two-point lead into the second half. And here's the uh, Cougars with a, uh, or, I'm sorry, the Eagles with a three-point attempt. Won't fall. And a uh, follow-up by uh, McKinley, and uh, her shot's short. Cougars come away with an offensive rebound, so here's an opportunity by uh, Rabideau. She puts the shot up. That won't fall. Rebound comes to uh, comes to uh, Barkholm, and here come the uh, Eagles back the other way. Here's Kelly off the screen. Inside. That was swatted away, and Roush comes away with the steal. Here's Roush all the way to the other end, and that was a little bit too strong. Good job, Alicia. 
Rebound to uh, Hebert. She can't finish, but the uh, Cougars go to another offensive rebound. So here's Rabideau again. Back out for Roush. Roush to Rabideau. Rabideau drives, puts that runner up. That one's a little bit too strong. But Cartier hustles for that rebound. There's a shot by uh, Hebert. It's a little bit too short, and she's going to get tagged for the foul. So a loose ball underneath, and uh, Hebert reaches around and uh, gets tagged for that foul. It's going to be two on, two on Skylar Hebert. So Cougars with uh, a boatload of fouls here in the first, first half. And, uh, this one hasn't started off all that much better. Roush with a good hustle here with a steal. And uh, she keeps the ball alive. Here's Rabideau with it. Puts it inside for uh, Cartier. She gets the ball yanked out of her hand. So here's, here's Kelly with it. Kelly brings it into the front court. Dribbles it off her foot. So Eagles with another turnover on uh, successive uh, trips down the court. So... Uh, no scoring yet here in the second half, but uh, Eagles trying to uh, pretty much how they started off the first quarter, looking a little shaky on the offensive end of things, but playing decent defense. Here's Cartier with a nice turnaround, and she banks that one in. Allie Cartier with her first two points of the contest. Here's Ryan. She's going to put it inside for... Uh, uh, and there's a tied up ball. I'm sorry, it was uh, Barkham. Nice uh, pass by uh, Shannon Ryan to hit Barkham uh, streaking through the lane, but Barkham couldn't finish. And uh, the uh, held ball will go over the Cougars, so Cougars with an opportunity to uh, extend on that four point lead. Here's Hebert from the elbow, and that one's in. Skyler Hebert, first player to uh, reach double digits here. And, She's got 11 points. And as soon as uh, Wilson on the uh, backcourt gets knocked out of, out of there by uh, Dominic, but there's a uh, shot by Kelly. And, uh, this time, Cartier with the rebound, and Ryan's going to be a call for the foul. So that's going to be uh, two on Shannon Ryan and uh, Cougars with the ball. Up by six with uh, five and a half to play here in the third quarter. Here's Roush inside for Cartier. That one gets blocked by Ryan. She gets her own rebound. Here's Rabideau. She's going to put the shot up. Gets a nice friendly roll and uh, Taylor Rabideau with six points. Pushes the uh, Cougar lead up to eight. Here's Kelly, gets trapped, but gets gets rid of the ball. Here's Wilson, she loses it. Rabideau with the steal. She's gonna go in with a left-handed layup, a little bit too strong. And there's another steal by the Cougars, and this time Rabideau converts on that one. So eight points for uh, Taylor Rabideau, and uh, causes uh, Coach Walters to uh, Call a timeout, so with 4.45 here to play in the third quarter, the uh, Cougars have pushed their lead up to 10 by a score of 34-24. All righty, timeout's over. Eagles with the ball, trailing by 10, 4.45 on the clock. Ball's inbound it. There's McKinley with it. McKinley, inside for Barcom. Barcom can't finish on that one. Roush with the rebound. She brings the ball up. The Eagles sticking with that man-to-man -man defense. Here's Rabideau, out for Roush. Roush at the foul line, he gives it for Hebert. Hebert's gonna put up the runner. That one comes up short, ball's on the floor. And that's tied up. And that'll go over to the Eagles on a alternating possession. Coach Waters will go to the bench. Puts in uh, Michaela LaFountain and number 15, Courtney Gwinnup. Wilson and McKinley will sit. Cougars showing some full court pressure here with 4.13 to go here in the third quarter. Kelly's got it. Works off the screen. 
Brings it over midcourt. She's trapped there. Turns the ball over. Here's a two-on-one. Over for uh, Dominic. Dominic banks it home. So good defense there by the Cougars with the uh, that half-court trap. Creates a turnover in a 2 on one Here's another tip by uh, Molly Roush. And that one will go out of bounds, but it will stay with the, uh, with the Eagles. Nine points for uh, Jordan Dominic, and we got another timeout on the floor. So full timeout call, called by uh, Coach Waters. 3:50 to go on the clock here in the third in the third quarter. Cougars up by a 12-point margin. All right, Eagles with the ball inbound. Kelly with a shot that won't fall. That one won't go either. Rabbit with the rebound. She pushes the ball up the corner. Takes it back out. Roush over in the corner for Dominic. Dominic with a wide open look. Knocks down the triple. 12 points for Jordan Dominic. Pushes the Cougar lead up to 15. There's Gwyneth with it. She gets stuck in the corner. Oh, that's a double dribble. How can you not call that double dribble? <laughs> I failed to see where that uh, is good refereeing right there. I don't care uh, who's listening or who asked me, but when you pick up the dribble and then dribble again, that's a double dribble any any day of the week. So That one's inside for Cartier. Cartier backs in. Here's Rabideau. Roush. And there's another shot by Dominic. She knocks that one down. Jordan Dominic on fire from uh, outside the arc. Give her 15 points, and the Eagles are on the ropes here. This one comes out for Gwynnup, looking for a way to uh, get some offense. There's a nice pass inside by Ryan. She dumps it off to uh, Lisa Barcombe for her first two points of the contest, and uh, the... Uh, uh, I believe that was the first two points of the uh, quarter, but there's another shot. Up, oh, won't fall. This one goes out for Roush. She's going to take the shot. That one rolls off the front of the rim. Cartier with an excellent position and an offensive rebound, and Ali Cartier works that ball in for a uh, nice offensive rebound and a putback, and the Cougars are uh, sort of showing some uh, aggression here in the uh, third period, and there's going to be another turnover, so that's going to go over to the uh, over the Cougars with a minute 49 to play here in the third period. It's been all Cougars, and we got another timeout on the floor, so 149 to play in the third quarter. It's the Cougars 44, the Eagles 28. That was all in the second the second uh, quarter, too. Cougars with the ball. Closing minutes of the uh, third quarter. Here's Roush with it. Again, working against that man-to-man -man defense. Here's Dominic. She splits it, but Ryan comes up with a rebound. Dumps it off. Here's Kelly with it. She gets double teamed there and puts the ball to the center. Lobs it in for Ryan. Ryan underneath. And that one won't fall. Nice defense there by uh, Ali Cartier. And Shannon Ryan has denied that uh, that play, which has been their bread and butter all year. But Ryan held un under uh, under 10 points so far in this contest. So Cougars doing a good job of uh, denying her the ball. Here's Rabideau with it. She drives, puts the ball up, won't fall. Ryan with the rebound. And she's looking like she's a little bit peaking here, but we're under the uh, minute to go here in the third quarter. Here's Kelly into the corner for uh, the, uh, the fountain. And Ryan turns around and banks that one home. And we got a timeout for substitutions and Ryan goes to the bench. Uh, let's see what's going on here. All right, just except for uh, timeout for substitutions. Abby Miller, Emily Sample, and Christina Paola check in for the uh, for the Cougars. 
Uh, Ryan, who looked like she was coming out, stays out on the court for the Eagles. Uh, Tori Barrett, number one, checks in. Here's Miller, gives it out for Hebert. Hebert drives, kicks it out for Roush. Roush out for Miller. Under 20 seconds to go here. Here's Roush. Gives it out for Hebert. Hebert, she's going to put the shot up. That hits nothing and goes out of bounds and it'll go over to the Eagles. So the Eagles will have it with six seconds on the clock. Trailing by 14. And that'll be a double dribble. So we'll go back over to the Eagles. Or I'm back, oh, sorry, back over to the Cougars with four seconds on the clock and a chance to uh, make one last basket here before the end of the uh, for the end of the quarter. And that one goes for Miller. She keeps it from going in. Paola's going to chuck one up. And Ryan's going to block that one out of bounds as the horn goes off. So after uh, three quarters of play here at Northeastern Clinton Central School, it's the Cougars up by a score of 44 to 30. Okay, here we go, folks. For the fourth quarter of action here at Northeastern Clinton Central School. Cougars with a 14-point lead. Here's Dominic. Been hot in that third quarter. There's an offensive rebound by, rebound by Cartier and uh, puts the shot back up. Gets blocked out of bounds by Ryan. Stop protecting her! So the uh, Cougars, Cougars will uh, inbound. Here's Roush with it. Gives it off for Dominic. Like I said, she had the hot hand here in the third quarter. Here's Cartier. She takes it to the rim. That one gets blocked by Ryan. Kelly comes down with the uh, with the loose ball. Oh, here come the Eagles. Send it over for uh, get it over in the corner for Wilson, but that, that one gets knocked out of bounds by. Uh, Skyler Hebert, we got 17 on the shot clock. McKinley will aim down, back to McKinley. She puts that shot up, that's off the corner of the backboard and out of bounds, so Eagles will turn the ball over and uh, at some point Coach, Walters is, Coach Waters is gonna have to think about pressuring, but at this point he just puts a little token pressure on and uh, Cougars break that pretty quickly and can use as much clock as they possibly can here. Here's Roush with a runner. That one goes up a little bit too strong. Ryan with the rebound there. She brings the ball up. Comes up against a uh, double team. Says to push it back for Kelly. Kelly puts up the three, and that won't go, but she's gonna uh, draw the foul, so she's gonna be at the line to shoot three here as uh, Molly Roush picks up her uh, fourth foul, I believe the... the uh, I believe the foul was on Roush, and we get a timeout on the play. So, 6.51 to play here in the uh, fourth quarter. 44-30 in favor of the Cougars. I would not disagree with that. All right, Grace Kelly at the line to uh, shoot three here. She was uh, fouled on that three-point attempt. First one is up and good. Coach Waters uh, calling out for uh, full court man-to-man -man pressure here. So uh, after uh, these foul shots, you can expect the uh, Eagles to be up in the grill of the Cougars. So we'll see how they can uh, handle the man-to-man uh, -man pressure. It's, uh, we will see what unfolds here in the next uh, six minutes and 51 seconds. So Kelly makes good on all those free throws. Give her 12 points. Rabideau breaks the press without too much problem at all. Gives it off for Dominic. Once again, the Cougars will do what they can to uh, wear down this clock. Dominic will back up, put the shot up from the elbow. Won't shut, won't fall, but Ali Cartier does a nice job of giving him another opportunity. So Cougars once again will uh, see what they can do about running some time off the clock and uh, getting the shot clock down to uh, at least under 10 before they take an opportunity. Here's uh, Hebert, she'll uh, put the shot up. That one won't fall. This time Wilson with the rebound. And Wilson brings it into the front court. Turns the ball over. 
And Dominic turns it over, so Cougars with an opportunity there to uh, steal some more time off the clock, but uh, Jordan Dominic maybe uh, rushed that just a little bit too much. And we got a foul on that shot, which uh, not a very popular call here, as, uh, as I will uh, attest to it. I'm not sure uh, about that call whatsoever, but uh, the, uh, that'll put... Um, uh, that'll put Courtney Wilson at the line to shoot two here with just under six minutes to play. Wilson knocks down the first. And the uh, Eagles go to the bench. Alicia Barcom, uh, number 20, uh, 33, will check back in. And Tori Barrett will sit. Take your time, Court. So Wilson with an opportunity here. As the uh, Eagles have been pretty solid from the foul line so far. But this one uh, won't fall. Five points for uh, Courtney Wilson, her first here in the second half. Here's Roush, reverses it. Pulls the ball back out. This is Dominic. Dominic gives it off for Rabidou. Rabidou thinks about the drive. Gives it out for Roush. Shot clock under five. Roush puts the shot up and in. Nice left-handed drive and layup by Molly Roush. Use all of the clock here and uh, Cougars with a bit, a little bit of full court pressure here to slow them down, slow the Eagles down. And Kelly finally gets it into the uh, front court, gives it over for uh, McKinley who gets a nice friendly rim there and drops it in. So uh, Michaela LaFountain, excuse me, her first points of the contest. Roush will back it out. We're under five minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Cougars with a 10-point uh, lead at this point. Here's Hebert. She drives and she lays in the left-handed layup. So the left-handed layups have been good for the Cougars the last two trips down as they work the clock down and are able to uh, make something happen here. Nice uh, defensive play there by Taylor Rabideau to slow that down. And, and the uh, Eagles will inbound. 4.39 to play here as the uh, action is heating up here in the fourth quarter. Back for LaFountain. LaFountain gets it stolen. Rabideau coming down against a couple defenders, thinks wisely of it, pulls the ball back out. And this time Roush once again will uh, think about working the clock down. Good job, Courtney. Oh my goodness gracious me. So Allie Cartier is grabbed by the arm and thrown to the floor. And there's no whistle on the play. I'm not sure I understand how that could have absolutely positively gone without any kind of a whistle. So I'm not I'm not sure uh, uh, I'm just I'm speechless. So a technical foul called on the uh, on the floor is uh, Coach Dumas no doubt uh, got teed up for uh, what he uh, justifiably felt was a uh, was a foul and uh, Grace Kelly goes to the line and knocks down both of the uh, both of the free throws and that'll give the Eagles the ball with a. Uh, Trailing by 10 here with four minutes and 10 seconds to go. And we got an injury timeout here. Eagles with the ball, trailing by 10. Four minutes to go. Kelly drives the lane, puts the shot up. 
Adams rebounded by uh, Rabideau. She'll bring the ball up. Once again, Cougars are doing what they can to uh, run as much time off the clock as, as possible with a 10-point uh, lead. No need to uh, push things at this at this rate. Rabideau looks to uh, penetrate, gives it off for Hebert. Hebert runs into a double team. Give it there for Roush. We're under five. Roush will drive, put the shot up and in. Another left-handed shot by Ra Molly Roush as the uh, shot clock is winding down and uh, she makes good on that one. So Cougars doing a great job on the offensive end of things. Here's a pass inside. Here's Ryan. That one's a little bit too long. Ball goes off of a Beekman Town player and will go over to the Cougars. So Taylor Rabideau having a heck of a game here and uh, got her hands on that offensive rebound or that defensive rebound and kept it alive as the uh, Cougars with the ball facing a full court pressure. Here's Hebert with it. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Cougars. So Cougars up, or uh, Beekman down on the Eagles up with a uh, full court pressure. Here's Rabideau. She gets it over for Hebert. Hebert looks to drive, pulls it back out again. 15 on the shot clock. Once again, Roush with the ball. We got it under 10. Here's Dominic. She's going to put up a long shot. That one gets blocked. And nice defensive effort there by the Cougars to uh, get the ball back. With a fresh 30. With uh, 240 to play. And this one goes out for Rabideau. Rabideau is going to give it for Hebert. Hebert is going to hold on to it. Give it out for uh, Roush. Once again, Cougars keeping it on the perimeter. Here's Roush. Another one. Three lefties in a row for Molly Roush as that uh, shot clock is winding down. So Cougars doing a real good job on the offensive end of things to uh, keep a good handle on the ball. There's a pass inside for Ryan. Ryan with a nice move there. Banks it in. Fourteen points for uh, Shannon Ryan. Rabideau will pull it back out. Under two minutes to play here with the Cougars up by a 12-point score. Here's uh, Hebert. She gets that shot blocked. She gets it underneath and will take the ball back out. We're under 10 to shoot. Hebert throws the ball away. Here's Kelly. She brings it into the front court. She's defended there. Loses her dribble. Ball's loose. Dominic comes up with it. So she'll slow things down. And we'll give it off to uh, Roush, who's going to start this whole process all over again, seeing if they can't run that clock down. Work for a decent shot. Here's Dominic from way outside of the top of the key, knocks down a dagger. It puts the Cougars uh, puts the Cougars up by 15 with under a minute to go. So we be better off just to back off a little bit and not foul. But here comes Hebert, and she's going to send that one up a little bit too strong. Goes out of bounds, and uh, Cougars will turn the ball over. Maybe a little overzealous on that uh, run out. 18 points for Jordan Dominic on some pretty hot shooting from outside the arc. And Rabideau shows a little defense there. So we got 45 seconds to play here. Cougars up by a 15-point margin. Looking on their way to handing uh, the Eagles only their second loss of the year. This one comes in for Kelly. Kelly is going to pull it, pour it out. And that one gets knocked out of the hand of uh, Alicia Barcombe. Roush will uh, pull it back out. And Kelly with some good hands there. And she steals the ball, but Hebert gets it back. And you get a uh, fresh 30 out of that whole deal. And at this point, they can uh, just hold the ball until the uh, clock runs out. As the Eagles don't look like they're in any rush to uh, foul or get this thing uh, s slowed down. And that one gets knocked out of bounds. So we got seven seconds left on the clock here. And at this point, looks like the uh, Cougars are going to walk away with this victory. As uh, Cougars bring the ball up, this is Paola, and she's just going to dribble it out, and the clock will sound. So after 
Four quarters of play here at Northeastern Clinton Central School. The uh, Cougars come away with an upset victory, 55-40 over the Eagles of Beekman Town Central School. So that's the way it was, folks, from beautiful downtown Champlain, New York, here this uh, Tuesday evening, sep oh, September, February 5th, 2013. We thank you for watching Hometown Cable, television worth your support. <laughs>